Hey everyone, welcome to Mastering JQL and Jira Search Training. Mastering JQL is very important aspect of learning Jira and especially if you are into any sort of team where you are using Jira, you should be aware of what JQL is and how to use JQL effectively into the project. Now, JQL is not limited to any IT team or any business team. It is basically a query language or Jira query language within Jira that helps you to do the advanced search of issues. And there are so many functions and capabilities that are there within JQL that if you master, then you will be using Jira JQL as a pro and will be sort of a go to person to get all the relevant details about the issues uh, based on certain criteria. So I'll be covering, I'll be starting from very basic of what exactly the search is within Jira. We'll start from the basic search. We'll navigate through how you can search for the issues and then we'll build our skills from there to master the JQL or the advances. The core focus of this training will be the advanced search using JQL. Now, don't confuse JQL with the SQL, which is uh, the structured query language for databases. Something might be similar or the syntax you will find something correlatable, but both are absolutely separate, right? So JQL is Jira query language and it will help you a lot if you are any person within the team who is working in Jira, whether you are tester, developer, project manager, scrum master, especially for project managers and scrum masters, mastering this language or basically the query language JQL is very important because you are working day in day out to see or pull the reports out of Jira, right? So that's where we'll be focusing on. Now, let's quickly go ahead and see what will be the course contents. So we'll start, as I mentioned, we'll be starting from very basic. We'll say, see the what the basic uh, JQL is, what the syntax is. Then we'll start with the basic search, basically how you can do quick search. And within quick search, what are some of the key features available to search quickly within Jira, right? So everyone is aware, if, if you are using J Jira, you would be aware of the basic search anyways. But then there are many things in quick search that you might not be aware so i'll be covering all of those we'll be covering about the smart querying in jira free text searching and what are the some of the key aspects when you are text searching for the free text then we'll deep dive into the advanced jql concept we'll understand about the jql fields keywords operators and functions now these are the four sort of key components of jql and then we'll understand the practical jql examples right this is the most important sort of section that we will take up a lot of live questions that have been asked over the forum and we will try to formulate the queries for those questions right so say for example you have been stuck somewhere and you have posted a question on the front forum that hasn't been answered then we will cover those sort of queries and in case you are joining this course or watching this course on youtube if you are stuck somewhere you want a query to be created or you want clarification with some of the queries please do post a comment on youtube or if you have joined the, this premium course on my training portal which is rcv academy training portal so go ahead and post there as well now this course i'll be doing two versions of the course one is the free version and the second one is the premium version so the free version which will have massive sort of information in terms of jql and understanding jql for free on youtube but then there will be a premium version of this course that I'll be posting on the training portal only on the training portal. It won't be available anywhere else, neither Udemy nor any other place. So if you're interested, the pricing will be very competent. Go ahead and register. If you're already a member of the training portal, you will anyways get this course for free. So let me go to the Jira and this is one of the instance and this is Jira Cloud. So I'll be covering all of this on Jira Cloud because most of the organizations are moving to Jira Cloud. So it makes sense to create a JQL course over the Jira Cloud, right? So this is one of the instance that I have registered or I have signed up for. And if you want to sign up for a Jira Cloud version, it's free for up to 20, 10 users. So you can easily go ahead, use your email and sign up and uh, start using Jira. If you're not aware how to go ahead and sign up, I'll post a link of the previous Jira tutorial that I have posted. You can follow that and sign up for Jira. Now to search within Jira is pretty simple, right? You have this search section here 
so i can simply click on it and start searching for any of the issues boards etc so here if i'll click you will see that this search uh, bar opens and i can go to all issues i can these are some of the shortcuts right so issues boards projects filters people right so these these are some of the uh, sections that i can quickly click and all the issues within this particular instance will be shown up as the result right so you'll see that int internally it does pull out or it does form that jql itself right if you'll see the url so it's basically populating or internally what whenever you choose it formulates that jql in the back end and then filters all the results and these results are being shown here right so this is one of the very basic or basic search or quick search right you can simply uh, press the forward slash okay so if i click here uh, and then press forward slash it will again open the search bar so on my keyboard i just press forward slash and it will open this bar and it will be the same thing now from here i can simply start typing and say for example i am looking for a particular issue right i i can start typing in rt which is the um, short code of one of my project and then it will list out the relevant detail whichever our project so it, it has listed some of the uh, board some of the um, projects in there and if there are any filter then you will see that filter has been listed as well right so these are some of the key ways or basically the quick ways to search within jira okay now this is basic search or the quick search basically not the basic search so base this is quick search then we have the basic search so now at the moment here you will see that we are in the basic search when you have this drop down to select different projects or different types and a different statuses so when you are doing a search based on these manual combinations so for example i only want the issues that are in the done state i'll select that from this drop down which is the basic search drop down uh, which has all uh, the details there uh, and if i want to filter based on more values then i can click on this more button here and i can include the criteria that i want to search for so at the moment there are four things included i can select effects version or i can select uh, more details there are right i can say i want to also search based on the creator right so i can select uh, for the creator from the drop down okay if i'm looking for the current user then i simply select that current user so you can add more filter values or the fields with this more icon here or the button here okay the plus icon so this is how you will add or edit the basic search with the more button here if i want to remove i'll simply remove this condition so that will remove it so once everything is done you can simply click on the search for issues but ideally it it automatically populates whatever you select right say for example i'm looking for 1.0 you'll see that it has automatically filtered the result right i don't even have to press this search button okay so this is basic search now what is jql or what is advanced search so if i click on this switch to jql now this formulates whatever we have chosen in the basic search as a query which you can correlate a little similar to what structured query language looks like right so we have certain we are looking for a status which is in done and then there is a and condition and effects affected version is empty right and then ordering by created and then whichever column so order by created column and then descending right so this is what the advanced search is or jql within jira so we'll be working totally or majority part of this course will be totally focusing on this section here where we will be understanding the details of different aspects within jql what are different functions that we can use to make our queries much efficient and search for the issues within jira whatever criteria that we are looking for right so based on any criteria any requirement i can search for the issues and then we can save those filters and use it in our reports dashboards etc right because if you are not able to filter the issues the way you want to or the way you want to report to your stakeholders it doesn't make sense right so we'll understand all of that and then we'll we'll understand how you can use those queries in your filters in your reports etc okay so this is a brief about what all search is available within jira so you have the quick search you have the basic search you have the advanced search which is the jql portion that will be focusing in lot more detail in this particular course so stay tuned i'll see you in the next class thank you very much